This is a sentiment expressed by many people who have seen their relatives jailed due to allegedly fake cases filed by wives against her husband and in-laws. But now, the Calcutta High Court has said the same thing, that Section 498A of the IPC that deals with harassment or cruelty towards a woman by her husband or in-laws often becomes a tool to unleash legal terrorism in the name of seeking justice. The High Court said this while dropping criminal proceedings begun against a man by his estranged wife for alleged domestic violence. Here is what the court said. The legislature enacted the provision of Section 498A to strike out the dowry menace from society. But it is observed that in several cases the said provision is being misused. The instant criminal proceedings initiated by the complainant is only to fulfill a personal grudge. The court said that the 2017 case tantamounts to abuse of the process of law. It said that the evidence presented in court as well as the statement of witnesses are not enough to prove the allegation of the ex-wife against her then husband and in-laws. This is what the case is all about. The wife, a resident of Kolkata, had lodged a police complaint against her husband saying that he tortured her and also tried to kill her. As the police began probing the allegation, she moved out to her parents' house. As soon as the husband got anticipatory bail, the wife filed another FIR at the same police station alleging domestic violence by her in-laws. The family then went on to challenge the invocation of Section 498A in the High Court. The couple got legally separated in 2018. The police, on the other hand, continued its probe into both the FIRs filed by the estranged wife and filed charge sheets. The police recorded statements of the woman's parents and a neighbor who told the cops that he heard the couple quarrel but couldn't say who was the aggressor. The woman's medical report also mentioned no sign of any injury. Section 498A is a non-bailable and a cognizable offence, meaning the accused can be arrested without a court warrant and bail is often difficult. The section was enacted with the aim to help women who face harassment and torture by the husband or the in-laws of a dowry demand. A Times online report. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.